Okay, everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Here's one strategy that you can do to uh, coax the bees more into going into your nuke box once you shook the swarm. Okay, right up there is the swarm. I shook it once, it hit the ground. I found the queen, so I put her in a cage. And right here she is, right here in the cage. And I was looking around, make sure there's no other queens. <clears throat> it was a small swarm, maybe, well, not small. It was three, it was three pound. And, but I'm looking around the bees that are left on the ground, make sure there's no other queen. Um, I found her pretty quick. Usually when they, when they get on the ground like that, they're, they're really easy to find. And so... But if you can get her in a cage like that and get a handful of bees going to her, just like they are now, and let them climb on the cage. So those bees right there will, will be the signal. They will signal to the other bees and let them know where the queen's at. So what you do is, let me look around here and make sure there's no other queens first. I'm not seeing any, but but they are latching onto that cage where that queen is really fast. Uh, I wish I'd shown this from the very beginning, but I didn't. I thought, well, just shake it in a box. No big deal. I've done swarm videos before and uh, maybe a little bit boring. But I thought, well, here we go. This is a little interesting situation here that we can do with this queen and show people. If you luck out, if you find a queen and you still got bees hanging on the tree... Let them build up like this, just like they did. Now, the one-handed cameraman's gonna try to climb up the ladder one-handed. And give me just a second. And what I'm gonna do is, is put her right on for right now. I'm just gonna lay her right on top of the frames. Right there. So, so now those bees will have something to be attracted to, and they might even break from the limb without hitting it, but maybe not. I may have to jolt it just once here to get them to come down. And here, Goosey. So, right there's the, the nuke, and right up there's the swarm. So, Try to swing this pole up here one-handed like and give it a good thump okay there they go now a lot of those bees now some of them may go up but I could just walk away from it right now and there's enough bees right there now see how probably I don't know maybe half of them went back up to the limb the other half are going right to the box I could really just walk away from it right now come back in an hour and I can assure you those bees will have already signaled to those up on top without having to do anything else the Queen's in there I tell you what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna go hit it again, and I'm just gonna walk away from it for a little bit. Come back and see if I'm right. See if those bees up there in just a little bit are, are in this box. Okay, probably about 20 minutes has went by, and I haven't done anything else. I just walked away from it. As you can see, the limb up there is completely bare nothing they're all in the box it just took for a little while maybe uh, they could have been in there for the last 10 minutes as well i'm not sure because i walked away done something else and glanced over and saw they was off the limb and all in the box so it just takes those bees a little while to signal and once they signaled to that swarm above they just drop down and, and join the call and that was about it that's it's as simple as that that's how bees communicate with each other. 
uh, if you can get that queen in the box and even if you don't get them all shook out of the tray you don't have to worry about it unless now here's an exception uh, multiple queens but this was a smaller swarm so there was a good chance that it probably was one colony because it was about three pound so more than likely it was so if it was a huge swarm it probably wouldn't work you might have got some of them in there and then what you could have done after you got a, a good size box filled up with that queen move it and put another box in its place and shake it again because uh, you're more than likely gonna have more than one queen above if it's a big swarm so so that's just something to think about uh, use that next time try it see if it works for you it I mean it, it it works perfect I know it would since I dropped that found that queen on the ground put her in the cage and she's still up above on the frames so now I'll take her and I'll, I'll put her on a frame below I'll keep her in the cage and, and then I'll set this down on a stand somewhere and then I'll come back uh, like tomorrow and and release her so that's about it don't forget folks click on the little bell please subscribe to our YouTube channel thanks for watching Bar Nerd Beast.